was very unexpected definitely not exciting news at first we found out some time in august and we've had some time to kind of think over and kind of process the news come up with a plan make sure it's official 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 because you never know the military things always change things can happen but we wanted to make sure it was official before we announced our huge next move with all of you we knew we were gonna go somewhere new when evan decided that he wanted to retrain into a different career field first we had to wait for the approval for him to retrain and then once he found out he could retrain then he would re-enlist for three more years when you re-enlist and get a new assignment you move to a new base everything happened so fast after that he then re-enlisted then got accepted to canine training and left for canine training all within a matter of i think a couple weeks or a couple of days then this past october he did graduate from his canine program Yay! I'm so happy for him. He has been wanting to work with the military working dogs for a very long time. He absolutely loved it, which made me so happy. And he is just so excited to start his new career in a new place. While he was in canine training, that's when we found out where we are going next. I, I wasn't excited at first, to be honest. I really wasn't. <laughs> I've talked a lot on this channel about how I'm like super close with my family and how it's been hard moving away from them, especially since we are all so close, especially with the recent passing of my aunt. It has been a struggle on our family dynamics. Honestly, makes me miss my family a lot more. You just kind of never know how long you have with your loved ones. So this news was, and it is still a little hard for me to accept. I am currently waiting for Evan to come home from work so that we can announce where we're moving together. He has had a long day at work, so I don't know how tired or chipper he'll be, but <laughs> let's see. Well, I'm supposed to... <laughs> I miss you. This was too long to be away. We're moving to South, South Korea. Korea. Your thoughts about South Korea? Uh, well, my thoughts are that since I was there already previously one time before, um, and but it wasn't with you when we were, because we weren't together. Mm -hmm. It means I get to share experiences that I had over there with you. Mm -hmm. and get to show you like places that I got to go to and got to experience and then also try new things with you that we neither of us have ev ever tried so I'm really excited for just the multiple different like things that we're going to do there yeah I'm excited too what were your thoughts when you first heard you're going to South Korea uh, I'm not gonna lie uh, I was a little bit surprised um, just because I wasn't thinking we were going to get South Korea and mm -hmm. then it kind of was a little dis disappointing just because with how your flight attending was at that time, I did not think that you would be coming with me or that we would have to do two years there and you would be coming with me. Yeah. So, but since we've been able to make a really good compromise between the two, I think uh, I'm a little more excited now. Yeah, me too. That's basically what I said. Yeah. Good job. Also didn't want to be separated again. Me and Evan were separated for about 10 months during his first deployment because of COVID. Both didn't want to go through that again. If you're not military affiliated and you're kind of confused and don't know what that means, I will try to explain it the best way possible or I'll leave a definition here. I'm not super good at explaining military definitions just yet. <laughs> it was natural at first for us to think that I can't come with him. 
which made it even more sad news. We both thought that we would be separated, I can't come with him, and that he'd have to go there alone for a year. With some research, we quickly found out that I could still come with him. I will be a non-command sponsored military dependent. A non-command sponsored dependent is a dependent prohibited from traveling to overseas commands at government expense. So that's where a lot of people get confused and they take it as you're not allowed to go at all versus that end part where it says at government expense. So basically I can still go but it's not at the government expense. So like going there I'm gonna have to pay for um, a lot of the stuff is not going to be provided by the military and I kind of have to figure out on my own um, how to stay there on my own just because I'm not going to be on the orders as going with him which is command sponsored it's becoming more common for spouses and military families to go with their military service member non-command sponsored before it wasn't so we've already heard a lot of negative comments and a lot of like slack saying like it's a non-command sponsored base she can't come with you and blah blah blah, blah military won't pay for it and we totally get it, but that doesn't mean that I can't go. The government isn't allowed to tell me where I can and can't go. They can do that to Evan, but not me. I'm not, you know, in the military. So it says, in other words, you are not on your sponsor's PCS orders to an Okanis location, example, Korea. Not on his orders as a spouse or dependent going with him. Hopefully that makes sense. It's kind of still confusing. I had to learn all about it to figure out how I can go, but we have found a lot of other military couples and families that are in the South Korea area, and they provided us with a lot of support and tips and tricks on how to go there non-command sponsored. So we feel pretty confident going with our decision. there's my job another interesting aspect to all of this is I am a US based flight attendant for a major US airline I am based right now in Washington DC where my husband is stationed my airline personally does not have an overseas base in South Korea it just means that I'm going to have to commute longer but there is a little hope to this because I have gained a little bit more seniority within my company and with being a flight attendant, the more seniority you have, the better you are able to manipulate your schedule in a sense. Like recently I've been able to take some time off and kind of like drop and trade trips. While I'm in South Korea, I'll be able to manipulate my schedule a little bit so that I could have longer periods of time in South Korea and then like come back to Washington DC when I absolutely have to work or you know when I come back to visit family I can you know pick up some trips and I don't know how it's gonna play out it's gonna be kind of like play it by ear play it by month by month and like come up with a plan any time in South Korea with my husband I'm gonna be so thankful for also gonna be just so thankful to be able to keep my job. I have met another flight attendant. If you guys wanna follow her, I'll leave her handle here and her link below. She is also a US-based flight attendant and military spouse, and she lives overseas in Japan, and she makes it work, and I have been following her and watching her videos, and I've actually reached out to her personally, and she's been such a big help on like helping me and teaching me you know, different ways to commute overseas. I don't think it's gonna be easy, I'm not saying that it's going to be hard, but I honestly think it's going to be worth it. I don't want to give up my career, and I know a lot of military wives and spouses have to give up their careers when they have to follow their military service member around, but I have been wanting to be a flight attendant for a very long time, way before I even knew Evan existed, and that's just a part of me that I just really don't want to give up. I really want to try to stick it out. and try to make it work in whatever I can. I know it's gonna be hard. I know it's gonna be frustration. There might be some tears, but who knows? It might not be. I might be able to take some extended periods of time off and be able to be with Evan and not have to do such a long commute. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for your time. I really enjoyed discussing 
our new move with you and announcing all of our thoughts and feelings. If you enjoyed this video or would love to see more videos like this or love to see our experience moving to South Korea, I would love for you to be a part of the community. Subscribing supports me, this channel, and the uplifting community we are creating together. I really enjoyed chatting with you. I can't wait to spend more time with you and I hope to see you very soon. Work. Uh, I'm, I'm <laughs> ready to just go to sleep. <laughs> I know. I'm just gonna finish this outro. No, it's okay. I'm